Hey guys, and welcome back to another Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a simple card, yet I think it's very, very powerful. So, you know how Toronto Tribute is limited to one when the monster is summoned, you destroy all the monsters on the field, you know how that works? This person thought it would be awesome to have a, uh, one that destroys back row. Yeah, one that destroys back row. So today we are looking at Toronto Torrent. As a normal trap card, it reads, when a monster, monsters, is summoned, destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. Yeah, that's, that, in my opinion, that's pretty rough. Cause that's pretty rough. When Heavy Storm is banned, you know, the only card that we have even similar to, you know, something that wipes all the back row is Malevolent Catastrophe. And with Malevolent Catastrophe, your opponent, not you, your opponent has to commit to an attack, then you can play it. This card, when a monster is just summoned, period. The OTK potential this card is pretty immense. It's pretty immense, I swear. Like, with Heavy Storm, you know, Heavy Storm, a card that most people didn't like because you would just Heavy Storm, wipe the back row, and then go and overextend and OCK your opponent, and they, you know, and depending on, uh, you know, what they set in their back row, they neck so hard, you know, that would just be terrible. Think about it, think about it. You, your opponent goes first. They set some back row. Pass to you. You set one card. And maybe set a monster. Set, set, set this card and a monster. Past your opponent. They're like, okay, well he set one card and a monster. So I can I'm gonna go ahead and push. I sum your opponent summons a monster. Torrental torrent? Wipe all that back row. <laughs> like like you know, it's just really bad. Like you of course there's a probably a higher chance than maybe Heavy Storm to wipe your own back row, but I still think this card would be too powerful. I think it'd probably be banned just because of how frowned upon it is to, you know, clear out the background and go for a decay. Like I said, you can go, like, have this card face down. You can go, like, normal summon my monster. Is that okay? No response with a warning. Torrental Torrent. Let the back row and overextend. Let me summon this. Let me summon this. Let me drop the dark arm, the BLS, and, uh, game. <laughs> yeah, definitely, like, definitely. It's, it's, it's like, it's like as if, Heavy Storm is MST. Well, no, it's, that's a bad reference. It's a bad reference because, you know, Heavy Storm's, I mean, Heavy Storm's not spell speed too. Uh, I'm trying to think of a card that's kind of like it. I don't know, maybe Night Beam? Um, you know. All right, let's say Heavy Storm is Night Beam. If Heavy Storm is to Night Beam, then this card is to uh, Dust Tornado, where they pretty much do, like, the same job, it's just, one's a little bit faster than the other, but then one of them can, you know, jump out the bushes and stab you when it comes to your opponent, and, you know, I still think that this card would be too powerful. I think it'd be, I think it'd be banned. I think it'd definitely be banned. You know, if not limited, but I'd say more in the ban. Like, if Heavy Storm is banned, then this card would be banned, because, you know, it'd pretty much be the same exact thing, except, you know, it would just kind of jump out the bushes, but it'd be a little bit slower, so maybe limited to one, but I, I could see... Uh, I can see if this card ever existed, I wouldn't be surprised if it was on the ban list. Okay, it would just be so powerful, you know? And just, it just says summon period, so, you know, you definitely, definitely know that, you know, uh, artifact players, well, you know, everybody that might be playing, but artifact players would definitely be playing it. You know, they would just set all their artifacts, set, set in the background, set this card, you know, when your opponent would play a monster, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, double cyclone, you know, you got to target one of your opponent's monsters, not the best, you know. Uh, ignitions kind of, but you know, and you no, know, some decks do play uh, the Arpad decks do play Malevolent Catastrophe, but once again, your opponent has to commit to that attack. This, as soon as your opponent summons, still main phase one, just go flip this up, destroy all your back row, summon an artifact, 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 morale attack, pop that. You know, ow, I just hit my hand on my desk. I'm getting too excited. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that this card would probably be banned. It's 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 too powerful, and yeah. And I said, it's it's just, it's just, it's pretty much Toronto Tribute for Spell and Trap, and, you know, Toronto Tribute at one, even when Toronto Tribute's not even good, this particular format, it's still a good card, in my opinion, to stay at one. You know, when they put it up to two, I was like, what the heck, no, one, Toronto Tribute at, <laughs> at one, not two. This card, uh, uh, I'd say at maximum one, at minimum banned. Yeah, this card's very powerful. <laughs> But hey, it's trying to tribute and kind of like if trying to tribute and heavy storm had a baby. So, all right. So, uh, so one of them's limited to one, one of them's banned. So, where will it sit? 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Hot Friday. Go ahead and tell me uh, what you guys think of this card and some broke plays that you would do with this card if this card was actually, you know, a real card. So uh, thank you for watching another episode of Fake Hot Friday. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Thanks for watching.